Hi and welcome to week 29 of World History 2. So this week we'll be delving into some fascinating topics uh, throughout world history. We'll be unraveling the complexities of the Mexican Revolution, the changing dynamics of Latin America, the rise of nationalism in Africa, the modernization of Turkey and Persia, and Gandhi's inspiring leadership in India's struggle for independence. So taking a look at the objectives we'll be covering this week, we'll begin by identifying the causes and effects of the Mexican Revolution. So in the early 20th century, Mexico was beset by political instability, economic inequality, and social injustice under the authoritarian rule of Porfirio Diaz. The revolution, sparked in 1910 by Francisco Madero's call for democratic reforms, evolved into a protracted conflict involving various factions, including peasants, workers, and regional leaders. The revolution resulted in the overthrow of Diaz, the establishment of a new constitution in 1917, and significant social and land reforms aimed at addressing the grievances of the Mexican people. Next, we'll be tracing the changing relationship between Latin America and the U.S., during the time of the Mexican Revolution. So the revolution coincided with a period of increased U.S. interventionism in Latin America, driven by economic interests and concerns over political instability. While the U.S. initially supported Diaz's regime, it later shifted its support to other factions, such as Vinostano Carranza and Alvaro Obregón, who were perceived as more favorable to American interests. The revolution, contributed to a more assertive and nationalist sentiment in Mexico and led to greater tensions between Mexico and the United States. Moving on, we'll be describing the rise of nationalism in Africa. Uh, in the late 19th and early 20th century, centuries, African nations experienced a resurgence of nationalist movements seeking to end colonial rule and achieve independence. Factors such as exploitation, discrimination, and the spread of Western education and ideas fueled the growth of African nationalism. Leaders such as Kwame Nkrumah in Ghana, Jomo Kenyatta in Kenya, and Patrice Lumumba in the Congo emerged as champions of African unity and liberation, leading their countries to independence from colonial powers. Moving on, we'll be describing how Turkey and Persia were modernized. In the early 20th century, both Turkey, formerly the Ottoman Empire, of course, and Persia, today known as Iran, underwent significant reforms aimed at modernizing their societies and institutions. In Turkey, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk implemented a series of sweeping reforms, including the adoption of Western legal codes, Secular, secularization of the state, and promotion of education and women's rights, transforming Turkey into a modern secular republic. In Persia, Reza Shah Pahlavi pursued similar reforms, modernizing the military, infrastructure, and educational system, albeit in a more authoritarian manner. Finally, we'll be analyzing and looking at how Gandhi led resistance to political oppression, oppression in India. So Mahatma Gandhi, the leader of the Indian independence movement, employed nonviolent civil disobedience and passive resistance as powerful tools to challenge British colonial rule and advocate for Indian self-rule through campaigns such as the Salt March and boycotts of British goods. Gandhi mobilized millions of Indians in a struggle for freedom and dignity. His philosophy of Ahimsa, which means nonviolence, and Satyagraha, which is the truth-force, inspired similar movements for civil rights and social justice around the world. So to conclude, the Mexican Revolution, the changing dynamics of Latin America, the rise of nationalism in Africa, the modernization of Turkey and Persia, as well as Gandhi's leadership, uh, were, are all integral chapters in the rich tapestry of world history. By exploring these key topics, we gain a deeper understanding of the forces and movements 
that have shaped the destinies of nations and people across the globe. So I hope that you found this preview to be fruitful and helpful. I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.